What do you put in curry again? Carrots, potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I, I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Ah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Hey, Chie. You use potato starch for curry, right? Um, of, of course you do. <laughs> Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. Oh, there are different kinds of flour. Oh, which should we get? Uh, all-purpose? Oh, whole wheat? Hmm, whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh, uh, well, let, let's just get everything that seems right. Oh, well, how about some kimchi, too? And, and some ground pepper? There's two kinds, though. Black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Oh, yeah. We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice things up. Hmm, I remember seeing something on TV about that. I, I, I think it was chocolate, coffee, yogurt. Oh, how about mint chocolate? I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so l let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. Hey!
Picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. Um... Sure. Why so generous all of a sudden? It's okay, man. Just enjoy. I can't wait to dig in. Should we taste this? Uh, only if you do it first. Oh man, here it comes. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Um, we put a lot of love into it. Whoa, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome. Okay, then. Chow time. Ugh, what the hell? It appears that my dish might have turned out just a little spicier than I had anticipated. Hurry up and put it in your mouth before the bowl melts. Uh, hey. What the hell is this? I mean, what kind of... Curry's supposed to be, like, really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks. And it's... Gritty, too! Ah, it's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it! It's so frickin' nasty, I can't even swallow it! Well, it, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of textures. <laughs> it's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. Fortunately, I kind of have to. We're sorry. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. <gasps> Something smells good. Hey! Uh, Hanako, you wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! <sighs> no way! <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! 
Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, off to bed. Lights out. You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. Damn it, I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's ten is all quiet, like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? You hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, Go back to the first year tent. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school, when he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher for God's sake. Now, nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal crackers? What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh, well. Oh, this isn't gonna fill me up. Oh, let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Kanji, don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there, or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so... 
I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know? Am I really what? What I mean is, um, are we gonna be safe alone with you? What? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys, I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm... Well... How do I put it? Uh... Oh god, don't trail off like that! You're freaking me out! I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm going to go hit the girl's tent right now. Uh, wait, well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stop a man like me. Dude, seriously going for it. Hey man, you gotta stop him. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys! To hell with King Moron! No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it! Uh, hey, wait! What a putz. I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. Why we're the only three in here? I can't sleep. <sighs> I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. It might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh, we can't sleep. We can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago, he... That does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? No, 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 Yukiko, no! <sighs> Ugh, I can't take it anymore! <sighs> oh, who's there? Hey, are you guys still up? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side! Let us in! Don't be ridiculous! If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled! Go back to your tent! We can't! Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any indecent students out there? All right, hurry up and get in! So why are you two here? Well, 
It's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. Uh, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then and then, then he fainted all of a sudden. That's all. Right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there. And, and you know, if, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him. He's right outside. Hey, turn the light off. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <laughs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke. We were nearly expelled. Hey, this is you guys' fault. What else were we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? Hey, you better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this.